On the 10th of October, fans had an exciting encounter with Jenny at Coex Soul, where she made a surprise appearance to support the upcoming film, Hopeless. The film, which deals with the harsh realities faced by teenagers experiencing family violence and the potential risks of intergenerational violence, is set to be released on October 11, 2023. Notably, Jenny attended the screening to show her support for Kim Hyun Zeo, also known as Bibi, who is part of the cast. Previously, Jenny also supported Bibi on her Instagram story, where she shared one of Bibi's songs. During her visit to Coex, Jenny was spotted wearing a hat and a mask, likely in an attempt to maintain a low profile. However, keen fans who saw her didn't miss the opportunity to show their respect and admiration. Although they didn't use words, a simple bowing motion was enough to convey the greetings to Jenny, who responded with a warm hello. Fans are now eagerly anticipating the possibility of photos from this special encounter later on. Jenny's presence at the Hopeless screening demonstrates her commitment to supporting her colleagues in the entertainment industry and her advocacy for meaningful works that address important social issues. In other news, netizens worldwide were buzz when rumors surfaced about the possibility of Blackpink's main vocalist Rosé appearing on the popular Chinese show, Sisters Who Make Waves 5, as one of the contestants. However, despite fans' excitement about her potential appearance, some valid questions have arisen about whether this will indeed happen. First and foremost, there is speculation that Rosé's appearance on the show would include iconic Blackpink hits such as Whistle, Boombaya, How You Like That, and even songs from the group's first full album, The Album. Additionally, Rosé's solo songs like On The Ground and Gone are also rumored to be featured. However, Blackpink members typically avoid performing solo with their group songs, making the concept of Rosé performing Blackpink songs on Sisters Who Make Waves hard to believe. Furthermore, consider the age criteria for the show. Sisters Who Make Waves is a program that features female artists over the age of 30 from various fields with the goal of forming a girl group. Rosé, who is not yet 30 years old, may not meet the age requirements set for participants. Finally, we cannot overlook the impact of China's Hallyu wave restrictions. Reports indicate that Chinese authorities have ceased broadcasting K-dramas since March, which means that K-content is struggling to reap the Chinese audience. In a situation where the promotion and airing of K-pop in China is restricted, the idea of a K-pop idol like Rosé performing on a Chinese TV show presents a significant challenge. While many are hopeful to see Rosé from Blackpink on, Sisters Who Make Waves 5. For fans, there may still be hope but it's important to remember that official confirmation is needed to determine whether these rumors will become a reality or not. What do you think?